Hello, I'm the Media Wiz, because one art forum wasn't enough, and welcome back to another commentary video. So, um, today, I figured, since we're talking about video gaming for this month, we've done, you know, two game reviews, one game rant, and I haven't done a commentary in a while, and I found some, some hilarity for us to talk about today. So, if you guys have been following since, like, the early, early days of the channel, you might remember that I did a commentary once on Fox News, and some of the stupider stories they had. Uh, involving video games, like one was about uh, how the, the PSP is bad because some kid downloaded porn onto it at school. And the other one was like, the Nintendo DS is a pedophile tool or some stupid crap like that. And it's, it, it was dumb. And we also talked about those fast food viral videos and news stories in that one uh, countdown video. And I also did a commentary on those, uh, those terrible truth anti-smoking ads and... Uh, it's fair to say those have gotten worse. So, uh, I guess what we're saying is that all butts are better than cigarette butts. But anyway, let's look at the other side of things. You know, we did Fox News, now let's do the other big mainstream news sources. You know, let's do MSNBC, ABC, and CNN. Some of these are older, but the Fox News ones were old too, so I, I think that it's fair game. So the first one we've got is uh, MSNBC and a story they did on Pokemon when it was getting popular in the 90s. Bring all your skill. Okay, Before Pokemon the movie. If you haven't been already, the hottest thing in the 12 and under set is coming soon to a theater near you. Yep. Pokemon the movie joins Pokemon the video game. So I've Pokemon seen like the first the minute of this, and, and I'm, and I'm willing to nerves. bet the more it goes, tonight, it's probably going to be one of those, like, this thing is popular, is and here are parent concerns over more it. Than a game. Anybody know how to play this more than a game. More than a game. Cuts off. Or a top-rated TV show. Pokemon is an undeniable obsession with children across the country. Sweeping the nation. The yeah, and Pokemon's still Pokemon popular. Joey Salads did a whole video about why Pokemon Go is bad, and it was stupid as hell. At Warner Brothers was flooded with 70,000 calls a minute from people desperate for tickets. The animated Japanese import created by Nintendo also There's holds Pokemon the top on N64. five video game slots. So what exactly is a Pokemon? Well, we'll fill you in. Cute, cuddly characters who become supercharged so they can fight their enemies. But some yep. experts say the entire Pokemon phenomenon is the Oh, enemy. here we go. In my opinion, parents should not let their kids watch Pokemon, play Pokemon, Psychiatrist, buy Pokemon really? cards, have anything huh. whatsoever to do with Pokemon. Oh, my God. I, I don't Pokemon. let the kids in my house play Pokemon. I think it's bad. It's really, I think, an okay thing. And then here's the other side. They have a woman saying that's okay for to save their her kids. To budget for it, and they learn to trade and be kind of reasonable with their friends. When it comes to the biggest Pokemon craze, it has to be the trading cards. Yep. This 747. That there, that shows how popular Tokyo Pokemon was in the 90s. The latest collectible cards. Pokemon was on a jet, and also those Pikachu costumes are still popular to this day. Man, Billy, Billy in the back, and he keeps taking my Pokemon cards. What a dick! Fist fights and the constant trading is not only distracting kids from classwork. But turning the playground uh -oh. into a black market. Turning the playground into a black last? market. Retailers hope hey, hey, Jimmy, you, you want some Pokemon cards? Colleen Dominguez, NBC News. I will trade Los you Angeles. this this card for this card. If you have a, or know a young child, then you may know that bonding moments with children these days come only when they look up from their Pokemon cards or other products. Back in the As day, bonding was us going on the, the swing set. and the Slide. These kids with their card know, games. It's the ridiculous. Toy guru Ira Gallon is the owner oh, of video well, resources in New York. Okay, Ira, now we got the now we got the Pokey Pikachu, expert here. Uh, and, this, and, this and by expert, I mean this guy has all the Pokemon merch. Talking Pikachu from Hasbro Toys, not even in the stores yet. It's going to be in next month. But that psychiatrist who had that quote uh -oh. last, <laughs> that how bad uh, Pokemon is, I guarantee you these people haven't seen any of the cartoons at all. They have no concept at all. That, well, he's got a point with that. because it's, it's like when Fox News did the whole Brony channel, story. It's like, it feels like people I, I who are commenting on something that they don't really 100% grasp or understand. I, 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 so, oh. and it, it's, okay, this guy said his son is into it, and he's eight. It's all about battles, is it not? Not really. In fact, I gotta tell you, I, I get this episode today, Pokemon Friends, and it's Pokemon? It's Pokemon. Pokemon. Sir? that aren't treated well by their trainers because in the Pokemon world in the age of 10 mm -hmm. you get to be able to go to Pokemon school and be given a beginner Pokemon to go out with and capture other Pokemon mm -hmm. now 
But okay, some go kids ahead. are. Wait, I gotta tell you. But one, some kids are bad and treat their Pokemon bad, and they're abused. This is a great episode about abused characters that have to go to a special resort. This guy really knows his Pokemon. As you know, you can now buy a Furby in the dairy case at your local supermarket. Half and I got to tell you, Furby were. is still selling well. They're expecting good sales with Furby. But in fact, Tiger Toys, who put out all the Furbies, have all the electronic oh, God. toys. Tiger and sell Furbies? Uh, the Furby of yeah, and Tiger so, went on to sell terrible handheld games. There's also another toy. If you want to be a Pokemon master and your kids are going to want it, you have to have a Pokedex. And this oh, is by Tiger Toys. And uh, can, this is like that's like the one, the one good thing that Tiger was able to put out, I will admit, was the Pokemon products. Of that Pokemon, you get to learn about. Gotta it. give him some credit. Every one of these at Warner Brothers store and FAO Schwarz totally sold out. Oh, well, they're man. an absolute necessity, I imagine. Dude, and then the dude, Pokemon Monopoly's in the corner with all these trading cards. Oh yeah. wow! Burger King is coming out. Oh yeah, and then there was the Burger King toys. Oh god, Pokemon I remember Garrison all of this from like. Garantis. This is this is, this is childhood. Just flooding back, dude. All the all the, all the Pokemon meals, stuff. And you get your special gold and I'm not even the world's biggest Pokemon nerd, but I mean, damn, Pokemon yeah, Pokemon cards. really was the no phenomenon of the, of the 90s, one, one of the many, but... King, so they're reinforcing Part of me feels like this guy also might be... As well. so you're gonna find kids trading a lot of it feels like he's, now, like, really into it. It feels... Dude, I hope, I hope the people that own Pokemon paid this guy because he's really... He's selling this show in the best way for kids. He's like, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. It's the FAO Schwartz. They have the Burger King. They have the video games, the board games. The, the, the plushies, we got it all. I wouldn't watch any of this stuff. I throw in a tape over the weekend, which I got to recommend people. I choose Pikachu. See, this right there. He just, you know, he, he rec he's recommending the VHS fact, tapes, the DVDs. I hope this guy got a good check DVD from the people that made Pokemon. Because he's, he's selling it. DVD players with 50% <laughs> <laughs> See? Selling through the roof because kids want the DVD versions. I think through the holidays, guaranteed, and I... Can, can probably guarantee you there's another year, oh. year and a half to this craze. All it hasn't right. even. Uh, oh, dude, right. not just well, a year. Always, Don't Ira worry, Gallen, Pokemon's you, still going. I'm gonna put some extra toys aside for, for, for coming on the air. Thank you. Please do. You know where to send them. Oh my God! Wow. Okay, that was that was interesting. I'm glad that they. I mean, they presented both sides of the argument. That's that's something, you know. But obviously, you know, it it is one of those things where, you know. Somebody says something that's against the popular craze, and even the newscaster was being kind of snarky about it. If you have a, or know a young child, then you may know that bonding moments with children these days come only when they look up from their Pokemon cards or other products. But uh, I'm but I'm glad that it was presented like not just one-sidedly. You know that e even if that pretty much was just like one giant advert for a uh, <laughs> for Pokemon. Uh, I mean, seriously, I again, I said it. I'll say it again. I hope that guy got a good check from promoting this the, this whole franchise because he he was selling it. He was selling it, man. He, yeah, we got the VHS tapes. We got the DVDs. We got the plushies. We got the the video games. We got the board games right here, and you can get it at your local video. You can get it at your local video store, your local game store, your local FAO Schwartz. We, you can get it all. Pokemon everything. So the next story we've got comes from ABC. Um, this story it's only uh, two minutes long. And it's supposed to be about uh, Animal Crossing, and uh, I want to highlight uh, the last two videos, the last two stories we're going to talk about have really bad ratings on YouTube, and a lot of the comments are really negative. So, uh, as as in, in the same range that the Fox News ones were. So, let's see how ABC manages to screw up talking about Animal Crossing. ABC. Channel 17 well, tonight, police have a net. warning for parents about a popular gaming system and a way it's being used to put your children at risk. Yeah, and an ABC 17 crime alert tonight. The Mid-Missouri Internet Crimes Task Force mm -hmm. says adults are now using systems like Nintendo, Wii, Xbox, PlayStation, and Oh, Red no. This, is this going to be the same thing as the Fox News uh, uh, Nintendo DS one? Live with more on how this is happening this and might what be the police same are one. doing about it. Jacqueline? That's right. This is the game, and you actually create wow, your can, own character. Wow, can you not get a bigger house, monitor to show this stuff off? And when connected to the internet, you can talk to people across the country. And kids so have no that means say it's the game's as fault. to what some of these characters say to them. For example, this character could be the man in California police are warning about tonight mm, that asks that? for images from Missouri children. Okay. It's me at all. It, I cannot come up with any legitimate reason that an adult would be playing that particular game. <laughs> Anderson says adults playing Animal Crossing 
similar games are likely doing it for the wrong reasons. You Let's just assume things never without to immediately to seeing the individuals playing, that the might the actually have reasons. They're not going to do it's going to be just like the Fox News uh, well Nintendo DS players. one. They're not going to interview anyone really to get their side the of the story. Level? Lots of equipment like that out there. We just can't afford to buy them all. We also just don't have the investigative resources to have people doing investigations on Wii and investigations in Xbox. Yes, let's do investigations in on Wii and Xbox. This guy totally knows video games. You can just now, take right a look now, at him. He know knows that he knows his crap when it comes to video games. Have been reported as being involved in this. Anderson says this is not a reason to be paranoid, but <laughs> is something to be aware of. Reporting live not in Not a reason to be paranoid, ABC but we did a whole years. story spreading paranoia right, about so kids much, that play Animal Crossing. Any web-based game that allows instant messaging or voice over IP okay that was pretty stupid that was laughably bad like like I said that was basically just the second coming of the Fox News Nintendo DS and even the PSP one uh, it basically just kind of segues into this whole over paranoia of just like you know oh don't let your kids uh, use the internet or don't you know it's it, the internet's bad it's like you know what if you're a responsible parent then you know you probably shouldn't give your kids uh, and this kind of, this goes into the last video we've got, the last news story, which comes from CNN. But this whole, like, we talked about this with the Up to Lady 9 uh, rant, where he talked about video game reviewers that swear and, you know, how, oh, there's children on the internet. It's mature, responsible parents would not give their kids internet access or social media access, you know, because that's, that's the job of the parent. The parent is supposed to make those decisions. And, and if they do think that their kid is of the right age, but still want to keep them from some of the more restricted stuff, just install Safe Search. It's like, you know, and, but I, I just love that whole statement at the end. It's like, you know, this is no reason to be paranoid, but we did a two minute story talking about how, oh yes, every adult that plays Animal Crossing automatically, there's some kind of evil motive. Just let, wow, that, that was, that was laughably bad. Okay. Now we got the last one. This is CNN, and uh, it's about a couple of local boys with their father uh, talking about how they're going to be throwing away video games in the house that are that are violent. So let's see how this turns out. A young man joins me now, Max Goldstein, along with his stepbrother Jackson Middleton, okay. stepdad Craig Middleton. So all three of you, uh, welcome. And, and I was standing in that exact spot just a couple days ago, and I just want to express, of course, our sympathies to a lot of the families there in your town. Um, but you guys are trying to take a negative, perhaps, here and turn it into a positive. Max, let me begin with you. Wh why do you want to get rid of some of your video games? Hmm. <laughs> Could you guys please not record near a river? You know where that's going to like really butcher the audio. And feelings of um, of the youth of the, of this nation, and we just want to change that. Wow, Max, those are some pretty then. adult words here for for. Yeah, it's uh, almost for like the adults in the situation say, uh, told him to say those exact words to and funerals, to think that exact way. One of the Jackson, to you, um, this movement that you guys have started. <laughs> this <is> movement. <laughs> Out, <laughs> not to play. Hashtag played out. Video games next to you. What are this you doing gotta, them? Clearly I can see why that hashtag never went well, anywhere. What we're going to do with these games is we're going to put them in this container and we're planning to have our local garbage company destroy them. <laughs> wow. You're, you're not only giving up the Good games, cause, boys. Are, Take some of the video games in your house is and throw right? them away. Wow. What a yes, bold movement. That is right. How many games have you collected so far? Do you, do you have any idea? Like seven. Um, none so far, but... What? We've, what are those on the... Well, right now, all we <laughs> the have dead. these games... It's right here. GG, good job, everybody. Planning to get a lot more. All right, uh, stepdad Craig, let me let me ask you. I mean, th th just so I'm clear, this is not something you said to your kids. Hey, this is the right thing to do. I mean, oh, yeah, absolutely. This, is this was this was not his idea. This was definitely the kids' idea. Right? Sure. Uh, it's coming from them. I think uh, my wife and I had a discussion <laughs> recently about uh, obviously after these tragic events that this is probably something to consider taking out of the home. And uh, I think the kids got the message and they all right. decided to... But these kids are 12. Pick up all the mature... They highlighted that. These kids are 12. Why would you get a mature-rated game for a 12-year-old? Uh, uh, That's, again, this falls back on the parent. The parent's can, uh, job, you know, um, make sure what you're getting for your kids uh, is appropriate. Uh, I'm a big advocate of uh, thinking globally and acting locally, and I, I, I hope that this triggers a, uh, uh, the minds of other parents and mostly other kids. 
Craig, I just have to ask the question that I know many of the viewers are, are wondering now, though. I mean, if we're talking, some of these video games, they're violent, they're uh, mature rating. You have to be 17 to buy them. Yes, and, and yes, exactly. Ask you, you know, why, why were you buying them for your boys in the first place? Bingo. Here we go. <clears throat> um, we, we bought these games. I think our kids are kind. Uh, they're generous. They're compassionate. That doesn't answer I think the question, the though. The spirit of this particular event, in and of itself, demonstrates that. And I think that we have to be honest with ourselves. And I think we have to be honest with America. Yes, but you bought mature-rated games for your 12-year-olds. Throughout the country, parents Never need to the think before they buy products uh, for their that kids. Any of these are going to have an impact on their kids acting aggressively or violently. But I think our kids want to make a statement, and we talked about this that. We talked about this. Yes, I told my kids to say exactly what I believe. Brothers or sisters or uncles who could play one of these games who's been recently victimized. Mm -hmm. And this is a way that we are standing by them. And I think it's a way that the country can stand by them. Max and Jackson, just oh, my final go. question to okay. you. If Last we're question. talking about violent video games, how do you feel about violent movies? Yeah, okay. I think violent movies are just the same. Yes, thank you. They have the same Best argument in this whole thing. And they don't really it's do the job of the parent to make sure that what they subject their their children Max to, whether it's you know M-rated games, R-rated movies, games. they have to make sure that it's, it's the parent's responsibility. How are you, you going to spend your free time now? Um, well, I'm going to spend my free time by uh, spending more time with my friends. They live. Um, like I'm gonna go hang out with my friends myself. where they have video games so we can play it I'm there. I'm probably house. going to, like, if I do play video games, play, like, soccer games or sports games or, like, racing games. Okay, I re-listened to it. No, actually what he says is if he were to play video games, then it would be, you know, sports games, soccer games. Well, at least there's, there's, a, there's a sense of responsibility on that kid's part. That one, there was some good intention behind that one, but, I mean, I like how they pointed out that the kids had very adult ca vocabulary. As, almost as if the parents told them exactly what to say and what to think. This is our movement. We're just going to throw away violent video games that are in the house. I love the fact that one of the kids was like, Ah, oh, we currently don't have any video games. And the dad just goes, we're right here. <laughs> it's like, oh man. That's, that's how I feel like this whole thing is just like, this was orchestrated by the dad. The dad just thought this was such an important cause that he called up, hey, can we be on CNN? CNN goes, okay, sure, yeah, you're on. Boom. They're, they're on just talking about this played out movement and uh again i see where it was coming from there was some good intent probably but i mean wow it's just again this goes back to parents need to know what they're buying for their kids i remember uh i remember i was talking with someone who was a parent and they were talking about grand theft auto and how i was like yeah i got my my kid grand theft auto and it, it's so violent it's like you're supposed to make sure about that before you buy this product it's like the best argument that was brought up in this whole thing was when they talked about R-rated movies, because again, it's a similar thing. You know, yes, the kid has a responsibility, you know, to, to know, hey, this probably isn't for me, you know, I should probably be of a certain age to see this, but obviously nowadays that's not the case because uh, kids, you know, kids, about 12 year olds love playing shooter games, you know, that's, that's a thing that's probably not going to stop. Um, you know, you play, you, you, you play any like popular shooter game, whether it's on a console or a PC, you know, CSGO was like the big one for a while. Uh, Call of Duty was before that, you know, kid, there's about, there's gonna be a bunch of like little 12 year old kids, you know, pulling a, screaming frickin' at everything, they're gonna pull a Sammy Classic Sonic fan. There has to be a responsibility on the parent side, is what I'm trying to say. You know, there has, the kid obviously has to be responsible, but the, the parent also can't just, you know, go, oh, my kid's got it. You know, that's not the job of a parent. How much you want to bet that like, maybe like a week or two after this, they actually went back to playing video games, because then the parents were like, you can play video games, kids, just not violent ones. Then they finally realized, hey, wait a minute, maybe we shouldn't get, you know, inappropriate games that, that aren't for our kids, you know, our 12-year-old sons. But eh, overall, so, those were some pretty stupid news stories. The MSNBC one just kind of went down the, the general hype that Pokemon had during the 90s. So, uh, there's that. They tried to present many different sides of an argument. You know, they showed a parent that was okay with Pokemon. They showed a, a psychiatrist who is really anti-Pokemon. Kind of reminds me of like the whole PETA controversy that Pokemon went through for a while. And it also showcased someone that really seems to know a lot about Pokemon and all of its Pokemon merch. Um, the ABC one was probably the funniest in terms of how bad it was. I mean, wow. That, there was, that did not need to be a story whatsoever. I mean, that was, that was, that was Fox News levels of just like, 
wow, this is this is clearly something you don't understand, but you guys want to talk about anyway. And uh, the CNN one, again, there may have been some genuine intent in there, some good intentions, but the whole thing just kind of came off as, like, counterintuitive. It's just like, the, sol the solution was to throw away video games in the house. So all in all, yeah, those were some pretty bad gaming-related news stories. Uh, will we ever do more commentaries on uh, news stories similar to this? Probably, if I can find some uh, funny ones. I know there was obviously, uh, recently, earlier this year, there was a whole report on Fortnite on, I think it was like some Australian uh, network. So yeah, the next video I'm going to be doing is a movie vlog on Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the movie. I hope it's good. Uh, I got some, got a few... Uh, to things I don't like about the trailers, but I'm hoping it's at least decent. And uh, I thought it would be a good idea because it's gaming related, so it kind of ties in with this whole gaming November theme. So look forward to the next video being a vlog on, on Wreck-It Ralph 2. I am the Media Wiz because one art form wasn't enough.